All right, so here I am practicing on dry erase board and I am working within limitations, limitations. So I asked you to pick a shape and to create a drawing using that shape only, okay? So this shape here, oval. So I made an oval vase, oval stems for the flowers, oval petals, oval leaves, and even an oval tabletop. Okay, now the goal with this assignment is you don't want, I guess I'm trying to say, like don't get caught up in trying to make it look exactly like it's supposed to be because it's not going to be because you're working within a limitation. So it's gonna have a style to it. So I want you to lean into the style. So this kind of just looks a little cartoony, a little bubbly, and that's fine because it's all ovals. So I'm kind of just playing with the shapes. So you guys are gonna practice. So if you wanna practice trying maybe a few pictures with the oval shape, practice a few pictures. If you wanna try different, um, like maybe making this same picture, but using rectangles instead, how will that look different? All right, so here is a rectangle version of the same picture. So I can play with doing the same picture, just toying with different shapes, or I can play with making different pictures and different shapes. It's however you want to explore. So this is kind of your brainstorming activity here. Now, I only made four sections on my dry erase board. You can do up to like eight different drawings if you wanted to, okay? But I ask that you do at least four, at least four. Don't just do one and say that's where you're gonna go. All right, so I focus here on still life. So I can keep playing around with still life or I can switch it up. Maybe I wanna make um, like a type of animal or like a person's face or a car or whatever, whatever you wanna make, okay? So get your idea and then move forward with picking the one shape and everything has to be that one shape in your drawing. So here my shape is gonna be a triangle. So this is what I'm making here. I'm making kind of a um, still life. So this is kind of like a teapot. with a little mug and then I tried to make a window here in the background with like a painting on the wall. So again, it doesn't look realistic per se, but it definitely has a style to it. So there's my triangle one. All right, and this one I might do an organic shape. And I'm just gonna make like wavy cloud-like. So here I did all these organic cloud-like shapes and I made a landscape here. So um, I, like I said, I could keep going and going and going and keep practicing, but this kind of sets you off on the right step for you to explore. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up choosing one of your practice designs to turn into a larger, full, complete work of art. So this is you working within limitations, one shape only, drawing. So I have used my inspiration of my sketches and I um, have created an artwork here on paper and I've elaborated a little bit. So um, I just drew it with a pencil so you can't really see it that well on the camera. However, I will outline this with a sharpie so you will be able to see it a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I chose um, all triangles for my design here and I did my still life of my teapot. Now this this image here looks a little different than my sketch because I actually really thought a lot more about exactly what I was doing where my sketch was kind of just more of a brainstorm and trying things out um, but this one I was able to problem solve and figure out ways to make these shapes look more the way I wanted them to look 
but while still obeying the rules of the assignment by creating all one shaped triangles. All right, so here is my little teapot. And then here's the base of my teapot. Now this base here, the triangle's getting cut off a little bit, so I'm putting make-believing like the triangle goes behind that. Now that's okay, because I'm still kind of keeping with the theme of triangle. But honestly, my friends, I did not cheat. Everything in this picture is a triangle. So when you create yours, don't cheat, push yourself. That's the point of this assignment, is to push ourselves and to problem solve and to create art that maybe we normally wouldn't make. I will tell you 100%, I would never draw something like this in my entire life. I never would, because it's not my style. But now that I've done it, because I was forced to, I am very happy I did, because it's something that surprised myself. I surprised myself, and I learned that I can do things that I normally wouldn't do. So I'm pushing myself and pushing myself and maybe in the future I can look back on this and incorporate some of these things I learned into new artworks that I'm going to make in the future. All right, so here is my teapot, my little cup. I made a spoon and then this is like a little napkin here and everything is triangle. And this right here is going to be like the table it's sitting on. So I'm going to skip draw and thankfully triangles makes it almost look like a table so i left out there okay so now here in the background i'm going to make um like this is a window and this is like uh, i was thinking maybe a curtain so notice how my triangle now is long and skinny where this is like just normal triangle long and skinny triangle so you can play with that idea too and so my window here I just make long skinny triangles and that way I'm still following the rules because normally these would just be like long skinny rectangles but now I'm making them long skinny triangles because I have to and then over here this is like a picture on the wall and so uh, instead of making the picture a triangle I decided to try to keep it still a rectangle shape but I'm making like the frame, long skinny triangles. And that's how I was able to create a rectangle shape. And then my picture in here, I decided to make a landscape. And this is all triangles as well. All right, so my landscape is all triangles, so it looks a little funny here, like these are my clouds, but they're triangle clouds. So again, I did not break any of the rules. And then the last thing I wanted to add on my design here were like patterns on the wall, like kind of creating a wallpaper. And because I'm only allowed triangles, I'm just gonna go with that and make a pattern of triangles. I am choosing not to outline my little wallpaper design. I'm going to um, just do a technique with markers and crayons there. So now I'm, you're gonna pick your media and you're gonna go to town on um, what you want this to look like. So I'm gonna probably just stick with markers and crayons for mine. But you could use um, paints drawing media, markers, crayons, color pencils, um, oil pastels, if you want to use oil pastels. This will be your choice in how you want to do this. I like to, I'm going to stick with markers and crayons for me just because it's going to give me the most control. Sometimes when I use paint, I'm not in as much control. And for this assignment, because everything is so structured and shaped, um, I want to have control in how I color it in. I want it to look nice and clean and precise. So that's the direction I'm moving in, all right? But you are your own artist. You're gonna see things differently than the way I see things. So you decide how you want to finish off your piece. All 
Alright, so here is my artwork totally complete. I used a combination of markers and crayons to add the color um, using only triangle shapes and working within limitations.